Hi, Cryo here. Welcome to my Pokemon Platinum. I almost said Emerald, but I didn't. I Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. So it's not a regular Nuzlocke, but it's also not an extreme randomizer. Uh, it's just a regular old, well, not regular. It's a randomized Nuzlocke, but I've just changed the location of Pokemon and the Pokemon the trainers have. And then also the starter Pokemon, obviously. And field items, so I guess it's not that basic, but... Like, none of the typings or evolutions are changed at all. Um, or, I mean, I meant abilities instead of evolutions. I did make it so trade evolutions are possible by level up. Which will be handy. Ah, uh, this is Professor Rowan speaking. Ah, uh, uh, hello there. So very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, and also welcome to Jurassic Park. My name is Santa Claus. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? No, no, this is not my first rodeo. Also, I'm kind of recording this a bit later at night, so I'm, I might be a bit out of it. Um... I mean, I could just as easily wait until tomorrow when I'm more refreshed to record this, but I was just in a platinum recording mood. Um, probably won't see this until after my break, because when I'm recording, this is like a week or so before my final exams. And during this time I'm, is when I'm on my break uh, from uploading. So I'm still recording videos on my break. I'm just not uploading them or editing them or anything. Uh, I just happen to have some a little bit of downtime. I, I probably won't have much during finals week. Actually, I'll probably have more during finals week. Because I just have the test, and then after that... And that's it. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll touch the Pokeball. There you go. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball. Thank you. It's a Baneri. Here's the Easter Bunny. It's like me, Santa Claus. Oh, but yeah, as I, as I was saying. Probably won't see this series until May 14th or later. Well, because I'm starting my Subnautica Below Zero, Below Zero series on May 14th when it releases. Which means I get to record an episode and also edit it and then upload it, upload it. Uh, on the 14th. It won't be at 9am like most of my uploads are. Not that you guys keep track of that or anything. Maybe you do. Maybe maybe one of the two viewers that I have does indeed keep track of when I upload them. So the first episode of Subnautica Below Zero will be out later than normal. Uh, I'm not going to have class during then, so I'll have more free time. Uh, so I'll be able to record it earlier in the day and edit it probably like afternoon-ish. And then by the evening, I should have it released. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm sorry, I was kind of diddly daddling talking about details. I'm a boy. What is your name? Well, it is the same name that I have given to myself in every single game that, uh, that has a four character limit or more. Unless it's like those arcade games where you can only put your three initials. In that case, I might put, like, CRY for, like, Cry. Short, shortened version of Cryo, even though Cryo's already a shortened version of Cryo Steel. A fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. I, I believe, I, I mean, I don't know. What might his name be? What kind of shoes is he wearing? Are those, like, loafers? Or, like, clogs, maybe? I can't really tell. Also, he's wearing a... Oh, I thought that was a tie. No, it's a scarf. Okay, your name will be Iro. I total I cannot remember for the life of me what I named my other rivals in Gens 1 and 2. Because you can't name your rival in Gen 3. Uh, yeah, we'll name you Pyro. The opposite of Cryo. Iro is it. That is your friend's name. Well, that's a stupid name. Alright, Cryo, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey will be to countless Pokemon and people. He kind of sounds like Professor Oak. 
Like, oh, hello, I'm Professor Oak. Hello, I'm Professor Rowan. I'm Professor Elm. And I'm Professor Birch. Yeah, no, I guess it has a different enough voice. Eventually, this is gonna come. It's gonna come to a point where I have to reuse voices for professors, because my my old white guy voice is not. <laughs> uh, it has its limits, and pretty much all the professors are like either middle aged, or like middle aged or really old, and they're white. So that's his thing. Well, until uh, Professor Kakui, is that how you pronounce it? Kakui, Kakui, from Gen Seven from Alola. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him like a radical voice. He's a young and hip trainer from pretty much Hawaii. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words, because I don't understand them. That was the comment left by Professor Bowen, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Cool. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. Nationwide is on your side. See you next week. Same time. Same bat channel. That's a bit of a 60s Batman reference for you. Hello. Hi, Pyro. Hey, there you are. Uh, is that kind of like a Barry kind of voice? Yeah, that kind of sounds like Barry, like high-pitched and talks really fast. Yeah. It's pretty similar to the voice I gave for my first rival in Gen 1, but whatever. Hey, Crow, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, my buddy, give us some Pokemon. It, huh? Oh, hey, is, that, is this a new PC? No, actually, this is a PC I've had since high school. Oh, sorry, you're talking about the PC on that desk, yes. Oh, uh, where was I? Oh, right, right, right. We're gonna go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Cryo? If you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Dollars, which is like 10 million yen. And given the current price of the US economy, that's like 100 yen is one US dollar. And so that would mean, um, doing quick maths in my head. I wish I don't have my phone next to me, so I don't have a calculator. I mean, I'm also on my computer, so I could easily pull one up. Uh, all right, my mother's voice. Oh, I don't know what the hell it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. That's the voice I'm giving my mother. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah, because my first gen mother voice was, Oh, hi, it's me, your mother. And then second gen was like, Oh, it's kind of a middle of the road. Hi, Cryo. And then the third gen was like, Oh, it's a complete opposite. Hi, Cryo. And this one was like, Oh, just a southern mother. A southern, if you will. Don't go to tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. You'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So... Don't go to the grass. Well, take care, sweetie. Thank you. Sorry, there's a bit of a salivation there. Disregard that. Maybe you wouldn't have even have noticed anything. Um, actually, I'm just trying to look. I'm looking at my OBS right now. I guess my bottom screen... Well, it's kind of blank right now. There's nothing on it, but... Um, but it looks like I might have to stretch out the video a little bit more upwards. Because I can see a bit of the background poking in there. The other screens seem fine, though. I mean, this isn't a professional overlay by any means. Uh, that's a mammoth sign in the background, in case you can't tell. It's kind of covered up by everything else. All the boxes. And by all, I mean three. Then I have some icicles. Those icicles to the... Sorry, other way. I forget it's mirrored. Uh, to the left of me there. That's going to be where the party members are uh, are shown. Then I have the badges. Other way again, sorry. The badges over there. Uh, we go all the way down. It's one through eight. Starts at the top, and then we're here at the bottom. Hey, I'm going to go see Professor Rowe, and you should come too, and quickly. Huh? Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine and dandy. Hello, what voice should I give you? Probably the same as my other. Yeah, both the mothers have the same voice, so I'll just do that. Oh, hi, Cryo. Are you looking for Pyro? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home, bless his heart. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Well, does he have a father? Does any... Do any of the Pokemon characters have fathers? 
Well, besides the Gen 3 one, because the dad is Norman, who destroyed me in both my Emerald. Actually, no, he didn't destroy me in my second regular Nuzlocke. That's right, because Mighty Root clutched it. He was the king of all kings. Oh, hey, Cryo. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poke Dollar fine if you're late. I probably could have just said dollar. would have been quicker to say that, but I didn't. Because, again, I'm kind of tired-ish. But not tired enough to not play Platinum. Is the term I was going for. And speed on up here. Hello. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Da 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 da. I'm speaking to you in Morse code. What? Don't go into grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, it's a good idea. Uh, now listen. You know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Great, let me just apply some uh, succulent syrup. It's probably not the right term to use. No, succulent. Not, uh, syrup is the right term to use, but succulent, not so much. I just did it because it was a... Uh, uh, why can't I think of what? Alliteration. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe I should just have more confidence. Even if I'm wrong, I'll just, if you're confident enough, then it sounds like you're right. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it. Hold my phone so I can take a picture of these boys being stupid. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. But they are on your sides. Aha, uh -huh. spatial distancing joke. Anyways, then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? If it was short grass, maybe, but it's tall grass. And it's a bit awkward as having a staring contest. Not really, I'm not even looking in your eyes, I'm looking off. It's like he's looking askew to the pyro there. Hey Cryo, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Oh, just dilly dallying. They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their, their world, the world, would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? No. And credits roll. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Yeah, for the sake of plot, plot progression, yes. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again because I've already forgotten what the first thing was that I asked you. You two, you truly, truly love Pokemon. Do you? Do, do you? Do I need to call your mothers? Do I, I don't need to get your their number from you because I already have their number. What? Oh, sorry, that was Pyro. What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. Well, both the answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Cryo? Now I'm the one who questions. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what Pokemon... Or, sorry, what people like that would do with Pokemon. You might gamble them. You might lose them in a gambling ring. Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how you would say that, like, just hmm. How big of you, you small child, you small child, you are big. Very well, then I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. The next exercise is aerobics. This not as, like, a specific exercise, but be here at 7 a.m. sharp. However, you must promise you may... Recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm, now, now where, when, who, what, where, why? Oh, it's Donathan. No, it's just Don. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. So this is just the generic girl voice that I have. I, I'm not a female. I'm not a female, and I'm not. 
the, the female side of voices is, is not my strong suit. Alma is like the closest, and but it's also very loud and it's late at night, so I was like, eh, don't even want to do that. Oh, there's something wrong here. Oh, that was Don speaking. Sorry, sorry. Ah, there it is, Don. Nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Sorry, that was my French side came out there. Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? <laughs> we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. That time is not now. There is a world that should be explored together. The world. For them, today is that time, the place right here. Yes. Very good. Go on, open the briefcase, and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I could eat an Octorok. Well, that was a Zelda CDI reference. I'm just full of references, aren't I? A whole two of them. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, uh, Cryo, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Uh, sure, yeah. So I will first of all save... Saving a lot of data. data. I don't miss that part at all from the DS games. Uh, when you initially start a game, or if you've played for a while without saving, then saving your game takes a long time. And let me change the text speed real quick here, and the frame. There's a blue one there. There's also a metal one. Ah. Uh, eh. I mean, I, I kind of like steel types more than ice types. I guess it depends on which Pokemon. But yeah, I guess we'll do the steel one. And yes, I, I will switch to the settings. Alright, here we go. It's time to select our starter. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose. Which Pokemon would it be? Let's go from the right. I usually go from the left, but let's go from the right this time. The Sky High Pokemon Rayquaza. Okay. I... Well, I... I'll... Let's see what the other options are. The Coral Pokemon Corsola, Water Rock type, uh... Yeah, no offense, Corsola, you're, you're pretty weak. Until, like, Gen 8. When you finally get an evolution and... Although only your Galarian form does, and you're like a ghost type and stuff. Yeah, no, and... Oh, it's Puffoon! Well, it's nice to see Puffoon. I, actually, I hope our starter... Or, not our starter. I hope our rival chooses Puffoon, because then we can see him all the time. Without actually needing to use him, because... Of course I'm using, picking Rayquaza, why would I not choose him? Or Rayquaza? It just gives me a plethora of opportunities to mess up his name. Well, I mean, I'll probably call him by his nickname most of the time anyways. Then I choose you! I'm picking this one! Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. I, I guess. As a fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sand Gem Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. Well, you kind of just excused yourself there. I mean, I, I didn't even step aside. How do you like that? Professor Rowland's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Yeah, oh, oh he's getting all jittery. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Cryo, we both got our Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yeah, of course. And by this, you mean battling them to death. Yes. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Cryo, I challenge you to a battle. Here we go. It's time. Develop a Pyro. He did choose Buffoon! <laughs> yes! 
I guess it would make sense. Uh, okay. He requires a requisite. Okay, we got Twister and Scary Face. I mean, honestly, we just twist through him a couple times and he should go down. Do, do, do. Oh, and he flinched! What in the... That one hurt you. Dude, I'm, I'm just spamming Twister. We're playing Twister tonight, everyone. And I'm about to win. You better not poison me. Don't, don't you, don't you poison me. No oh, way, we can keep going. This is where we hit our stride. Uh, depending on Twister's accuracy. No, you're not hitting your stride today. No siree. Down goes the pufferfish. Goodbye, Puffoon. Oh, I didn't even gain a level. What are you saying, I lost? Yeah. Yeah, that, that is what I'm saying. Oof, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, Cryo. Okay, see ya. See ya wouldn't want to be ya. Smell ya later, as the children say. Oh, that's my southern mother. I southern. What's the matter, dear? Well, that's what happened to you, bless your heart. You and Pyro are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think that the wild Pokemon might have done to you, too. Crowd, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. This lab is in Sand Jam Town, ain't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Crowd, put these on. Going to Sand Jam Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. I, who wrote those instructions? Put on the new running or put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Why ain't that just nifty? Yes, yes, it is, Mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, wait, what is Rayquaza's ability again? It's like airlock or something, right? Like cancels weather. Adamant. Ooh. Ooh, Papa Cryo enjoys this. Yeah, airlock. Eliminates the effects of weather. Exactly what I said. Excellent. Oh, and I can indeed run. Uh, we're probably gonna have to talk to... Oh, never mind. He's right here. Hey, Pyro. Too slow. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can think of properly. Hey, that's a great idea. Listen up, okay? No. No, I won't. You know that lake that we're always, we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. He and you together, we got nothing to fear. Except fear itself. Eleanor Roosevelt, probably. Yeah, wait, is that the quote? Or is it who said it? I know that's the quote, but... I'm pretty sure it was Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, cryo editing this in the future. Uh, put up a screenshot of whoever said that quote. Or I guess text, because maybe they don't know what Eleanor Roosevelt looks like. I'm just going under the assumption that I was correct. Or maybe put up a the like Kermit the Frog or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, Cyrus. The flowing time. The expanding space. I'm, kind of, I'm trying to go with the flow of the music. Kind of like the flow of the time. I will make it. All mine, one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. That... Yeah, sorry, I kind of messed up my flow there. That wasn't a very good flow. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Or I'll kick you in the butt. I'm just, I've got to be kid-friendly. What was that about, weird guy? Totally not a main villain. Okay, Cryo, let's go catch that legendary Pokemon. Cryo! Oh, uh, ah. What? What? Huh. Did you hear that, Cryo? That's the legendary Pokemon cry. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E-balls. 
If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Well, we can't have that. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we ask him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said, Convince it here by his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Cryo, I'll race you. Race one of the professor's lab in San Gem, San Gem Town rules. I always have a hard time saying that. Now, what kind of Pokemon are we going to be able to... Well, we can't catch anything yet. We don't have the Pokeballs. But I wonder what the encounters are like. Shift read, not too shabby. Okay. It's respectable. We can at least get to level six. Four time, four score and seven years ago. Pidgeot. A lot of fully evolved Pokemon here. Okay, I think level seven should be fine for now. Don't you give me a potion? Pretty sure you do. Hi, Brick and Bug Uh, yeah. Thank you. I will yoink that potion from you. Thank you. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. I made that joke like three other times throughout these series. Huh. What the? Oh, see you, Cryo. That old guy, he's not so scary as much as, as he is totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter, Cryo. I'm out of here. See you later. Are you sure you don't mean smell you later? Ah, oh, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Yes, let us do that. Lettuce research. Research on the lettuce leaf. Ah, well, 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 look who's here in Santa's workshop. Cryo was it. Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, your Pokemon is green. What have you been doing? What have you been, what have you been feeding it? It's all sick. It's green. No, never mind. It's supposed to be green. You've made your Pokemon evolve already? No. It doesn't evolve. Oh. Hmm. And trusting you with that Rayquaza was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Of course, it's the whole point of randomizers. Or Nuzlocks, rather. Okay, Rayquaza. Well, you're kind of like a... You're a snake with arms. Uh, you don't have a... Well, it kind of looks like he has like a red beard in his sprite. Doesn't he? Kind of. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch. I'm thinking of like bearded dragons for some reason. Well, I call you Salamander, Sala... Salamander beard. That wouldn't fit. Salabeard. Salabeard. Yeah, I kind of like, like Salabeard. And there we go. Salabeard. It's kind of like salad too. Salads is also green, and red is like a tomato or a cherry or something. Yeah, okay. I don't know who has cherries in their salad, though. Why wouldn't know I eat my salad plain? I'm, I'm weird like that. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yes, I am. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass with that Pokemon, I was shocked. I was like, oh, no, they didn't. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Rayquaza feels the same way about you. That's why I ask that you cherish that Rayquaza of, you, of yours. You know, you're really making me commit to my pronunciation of Rayquaza, aren't you? This is the amount of times you're saying it. I'm so glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it because this game is rated E for everyone. Ten and up, I think. Or maybe... Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
cryolize ask that you go everywhere. That that's a mighty high request of you. Reach every kind of Pokemon in this region. Oh, again, I'm a child. Why can't you do it? I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Okay. That's all right. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrilling or er, er, thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Cryo, your grand adventure begins right now. Pokemon I met for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar on Route 21, you'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I will sell the Professor at pages of the Pokédex. Also, no, I w there was no option for me to choose ch uh, Chimchar. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little high start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Crab. Thanks, May. I mean, not May. Sorry, Don. Now, Professor Wrong said our adventure begins right now, but it actually begins on the next episode. So until next time, remember to stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next video.